Hello and welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. It is now the um, 12th day of March and according to my planning calendar that I have set up here we are in between 11, uh, 10 and 11 weeks away from our last frost date here in Saskatchewan. So according to my uh, planning calendar here it's time to get some onions and celery started. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how I'm going to be planting these up and um, get them growing under the grow lights. I'm also going to um, try some lupin flowers here. These are a perennial that are um, actually uh, hardy to zone three right here in Saskatchewan. So these should be able to survive our harsh cold winters and come back every year. So I have some of these started in milk jugs using the winter sowing method and still had some seeds left so I'm going to throw a couple of those in here today as well. So the uh, two kinds of onions I'm going to be planting today and those are seeds that I got from a company in Manitoba called Heritage Harvest Seeds and they specialize in rare and endangered heirloom vegetables, flowers and herbs. So I have gotten a few different uh, varieties of seeds from them last year and I still have these onions that I did not plant last year and um, according to what I've heard onion seeds don't um, store well for very many years so I'm going to try and, and use these all up this year and see how they do. So I'm going to be doing a Tropina Lunga onion that is um, kind of an Italian red onion according to the pictures I've seen it looks very uh, pretty and is a nice red onion that you can use in salads and cooking. And the other one is the early yellow globe onion. This is like a big uh, sweet onion that um, this kind of onion I buy all the time and use for just regular cooking. So I'm not a big lover of onions. I don't care for raw onion, but um, I thought these two kinds are basic ones that I would use in my home and um, I think I'm hoping that they will uh, do well. I've only planted um, onion bulbs in the past and um, it seems like you know they're about this big when they go in the ground and then when I harvest them they're about this big so I've never really had much luck with them. So I'm hoping you know start these from seed. Um, we got some potting soil mixed up here. This is seed starting mix that I've added some of some worm castings to it for a little extra um, fertilizer in it. So I'm very anxious to try growing onions from seed to see how it goes. And the celery I'm going to try today is just a Utah green celery. Purchase these seeds from a local company and these have similar um, germination time as the onions and I think is the lupins is the reason I'm planting these all together now. So these um, we will uh, try them. Another thing that I have never grown from seed or grown in my outdoor garden. Um, if you've seen any of my Kratky indoor growing videos I've, I've had success starting celery st um, from the um, stalks that you buy from in the grocery store. I've managed to start them rooting and growed, grew some celery successfully uh, using the crack key method. So I have some seeds, might as well try growing them outdoors. So, so I'm going to use these today for starting seeds. I picked these up at the dollar store for buck twenty-five for 15 of them. So they're super cheap. They're a three inch plastic pot with the holes on the bottom so I'm going to set them up in a tray so that I can bottom water them. I'm going to be setting this on a heated uh, seedling mat as well to get them started. So we will get these filled up with some dirt now. So something that I learned about onions when I was doing some research on these is there are three um, categories of onions out there and those are uh, based on the hours of sunlight that they require to to grow the best and so there are long day onions, short day onions and intermediate day onions. 
So here in Zone 3, Saskatchewan, Canada, we have very long summer days of um, long days of daylight. So um, the long day onion such as this one, the yellow globe, uh, prefers and does best in 14 to 16 hours of daylight. This um, one here, when I looked it up, was considered an intermediate day onion, which prefers 12 to 14 hours of daylight. So these are best for zones five, six, seven. Um, long days are best for the lower zones, like zone five, four, three, or so. But I think both will do okay here in my region. Um, short day onions, of course, would be in the warmer regions to the south, um, where they only require, I think it's eight to 10 hours, um, and have, you know, less daylight hours. So these should work well here. And we will plant up, first of all, the long day ones. And you can be pretty generous with the amount of seeds that you spread into each. I'm going to do up, I think, three of these. So they are fairly big uh, black colored seeds. So you just spread them in here. I'm not going to worry about how many I'm going to. Once they start germinating, and growing, you just keep them trimmed up um, until you put them into the soil. They'll be easy to take apart and separate and plant into your garden. I don't think I'm going to get them all used up. I don't really want a ton of onions started, so I'm just going to stick with starting these three cells up. And the Luga on, Lunga onion, the red one. The seeds look very similar. They could almost be the same if you mixed them up. So I'm going to just I'm going to just do up two. No, let's do three. I probably have enough here for three. So I did grow some red onions last year, and like I said, I really. I'm not a fan of raw red onion, but I see how people like them on their salads and in their on their burgers. And so what I did last year with my red onions is pickled them. And I have a video on how I did that. It was super easy and it kind of cuts down the, the bite in the onion, softens them up a little bit and um, works great to put on your burgers and um, different types of dishes that you would normally use a raw red onion. So check out that video. I'll leave the link below. So the uh, celery seeds are super tiny. And again, I'm just going to sprinkle a pretty generous layer onto. They look just like, you know, a celery seed that you would get as a spice. So I'm just going to do one cell and we will separate them out, hopefully, if we have a good germination. Now I was just thinking about how I want to mark these so I can keep track of them. Um, I'm going to be covering these with a plastic dome till they germinate, so I can't really use any sticks or markers. So I think to start with, I will just use a little bit of tape on each one, some painter's tape, and write the kind of uh, seed that's in there so that I don't forget. So here are the lupin seeds. They're quite big. And um, it looks like uh, they don't sprout for 20 to 30 days. So I guess that's a lot longer than I thought. The um, onions celery should be with seven to 14 days. And, and on, a, on the heated seedling mat, they may, they may germinate a little bit faster. So we will see how these go. And I'm just going to spread out these seeds into two different cells here. I can space them a little more easier because they are bigger. 
These remind me, um, uh, the reason I really like these, I went on a, a road trip from Toronto to Saskatchewan and we drove through uh, northern Ontario to go around the Great Lakes. You kind of have to head way up north and get around them to get across to the prairies and that's one thing I remember on that road trip was there was beautiful lupins growing wild in the ditches and uh, they were very pretty and so I'm hoping that I can get some beautiful lupins going here in my yard as well. Okay, so I got everything planted up here and I have just used green painter's tape with the name of what I have on here and to keep track of them. So I'm just going to give it a very light layer of more potting soil. Can use vermiculite as well. I've been using that, trying that as well. I think for this, uh, the potting soil will work good. Now I just, I had watched um, a video on, I think it's called Gapy's Grub. She's a great uh, gardener that I watch all the time because she gives you how to's on starting pretty much everything. So I always look to her videos for different tips and tricks on starting seedlings. She's in a much warmer zone than me, but for the most part, uh, uh, we can use the same processes. So what she did to start her seeds, instead of putting them directly under a light right away, she um, covered them with the uh, plastic to keep the humidity in and just kept them in darkness until signs of germination. And then at that time, um, expose them to some grow light. So we're going to try that as well. I got this Jiffy um, dome piece from another um, growing pot. So I'm going to use that because it fits these nine cells perfectly. And we're going to go put them under the grow lights with the grow lights off, but I'll just show you how I'm going to set them up and get them ready for germination. Okay, so we have the um, seedlings here now in my underneath the grow light. And before I cover it up with the, the plastic dome, I'm just going to give it a good soaking as you can see here I got the uh, the seedling heat mat plugged in and I'm just going to set the tray right on there and I'm going to put this dome on top to help keep the uh, moisture in and I'm going to just keep it in darkness just by covering it with this towel here and I will be checking on it daily just to make sure it hasn't dried out and as soon as I see some germination happening, I will um, remove the dome and get these lights going. Have them probably only, you know, an inch or so away from the, from the seedlings or so that they don't get too leggy. So um, I will be checking in on these uh, every day to see how they are doing and when they germinate. As you can see, see, I still have a lot of space left here to get growing. Um, I think next on my calendar uh, to start planting is tomatoes and peppers, which I have so many of, I really have to sit down and look at how much space I have and how many of each I can try. So please don't forget to like and leave me a comment below. And if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.